exhaust note of our Ford Mustang Shelby GT350 continues to delight our eardrums. Associate Online Editor Joseph Caparella sums it up well, I didn't even bother with the radio because all I wanted to hear was the engine. Yes, the 5.2-liter flat-plane crankshaft V8 is that special. And the urge to spin a tachometer into oblivion has yet to wear off, which has kept our observed fuel economy holding steady at a modest but acceptable 17 miles per gallon. Drivers regularly rave about the feel coming through the electrically assisted steering system to the micro sewered wrapped steering wheel, and the electrically assisted setup it controls is top notch, communicating clear messages about surface textures and grip from the front tires interface with the surface below. At times, some may even consider the steering to be overly enthusiastic. More on that below. So far, complaints are few. One recurring gripe, although the steering returns superior feel, it demands constant attention. The amount of tramlining that occurs on uneven tarmac can be alarming. If the driver is caught off guard, the Mustang can be quick to leave its lane with little warning. This quibble is one we are willing to live with, being a product of meaty Michelin rubber and an aggressive alignment. Although the tailpipes emit a stirring tone in their throatiest setting, when the driver summons peace and serenity via the dual mode function, a less than pleasant noise from the valve train becomes apparent in the 2000 revolution per minute range, right where the needle resides while cruising on the highway. No mechanical faults have occurred, but perhaps you might recall the raccoon strike from our first report. Even if you don't, we can't forget it and neither can our bank account. Once the final bill for the repairs was tallied, we were shocked. Not only did the critter take out the front fascia and the lower splitter plus necessitate the application of some fresh grabber blue paint, it also bent the oil cooler that resides behind the bumper cover. Those repairs alone evaporated just north of $1,750. Then things got out of hand. Replacing the affected over-the-top white stripes for the front fascia, which are sold in the aftermarket only in individual sections, cost $1,408 plus another $100 for installation. Striping the entire car was only a $475 option from the factory. In a final blow, replacing the clear vinyl bumper protecting film cost $685. All said and done. The tally was $3,684. Come on, Rocky boy, did you have to cause so much trouble?